What's up, everybody? Thank you for watching this video on my YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get those views up. Let's get people talking and hanging out of my channel. Oh, I just blacked out. Today's video is a little bit different than the other videos I have made in the past, but I have been getting requests and questions about the gear that I use. Morgan, how do you auto-tune? How do you loop? What guitar are you using? What camera are you using? In this video, I'm going to list all of that and then some. Let's start with the microphone that I'm using. This is the Shure SM7B. This microphone is an industry standard for music, for podcasting, for live streaming. Now it is a bit expensive if you're starting out. This microphone runs between four and five hundred dollars, but the investment is well worth it. If this microphone is a little bit out of your price range, there are other options out there. I have this recommendation. This is the Mobo VSM5. This is really cool because it already comes with the pop filter and the shock mount, which is awesome. And it comes with a cable. So all you have to do is really plug in, play. You get a nice, crisp, clear sound. This is gonna be great if you're doing any music vocal recording. I want you to hear what it sounds like. We are gonna do a little sound test. I'm going to put some reverb on and just to hear what a vocal run sounds like on that. That sounds beautiful, crisp, only $100. So this is four to $500 and this is a hundred dollars. So if you don't wanna spend all the money on something like this, you can get this bad boy, which is ready to go out of the box. Okay, what am I plugging this microphone into? Well, I plug it into an auto tuner first. I use the C1 from TC Helicon. People are always asking, how do you get that auto tune live? And it's super simple to set up. You pick the key, you pick the tone, you pick how hard you want the auto tune, you press the button and that's it. That's all you gotta do. You plug this into the auto tuner, and from there you plug that into the next thing which I use is the RC202. This is a loop station, it's two tracks. It has a plethora of filters, effects, and I also use it on my live streams. What I love about the RC202 is that it actually has three inputs. You have the microphone, you have the instrument, and you actually have an aux input, which is what I use for my synths and my drum pads. So I can plug in an iPad or an iPhone, pull up GarageBand and pull up a drum machine and make a beat with that. What camera do you use to film things? I use a Canon M50 with a Sigma lens 16 millimeter. That's a fixed lens. You can't zoom in, you can't zoom out. It's super clear, super crystal. It's clean. It's very clean. Um, the images are great. And I like the Canon because if I'm not live streaming, I use it for, for making my sketches. FYI, if you are are going to use this camera to stream you will have to get some adapters and some cables and some dummy batteries if you just want to start streaming you can definitely invest in a simple webcam from logitech those work great and the very last thing i want to share with you is when i do stream to tiktok i get all of this audio on my tiktok and instagram stream i bought this irig 2 but i plug this with a little adapter into my iphone and from the rc202 i take a quarter inch i plug it in here that goes into my iphone and then I could stream to three different platforms, including Instagram or TikTok with professional audio. And that's it. That is what I use. Everything you saw in this video is linked below. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, I can. I don't normally do this, but it's the great core of 2020. There are no rules. Anyway, that's the video. Guys, I'm Morgan J. Watch everything else on this channel. All right, and I'll see you in the live stream.